the heroes of the Greek Sea, the part number two of the uh, Paris campaign for Total War Saga Destroy. Thank you for joining me today, and I hope you will enjoy this part. Uh, like a uh, one turn ahead, I guess, where we left off, uh, and I'll be actually building up um, uh, these uh, buildings so we can get some more wood in as well. Uh, I was just building over up, so that's not too bad. Uh, we've got enough stone, we're getting some stone in, I'm upgrading this one as well, so that's not too bad. I am thinking though that I'm going to wait until these guys are, have been gone. <coughs> I do know they have like a really big army, so it's going to be difficult to try and uh, push them back actually. Uh, or we have to make advance into this territory so we can get something. Oh my god, like Hector has so many armies already. Ah uh, well, he has like... I guess one full stack and one almost full stack. We could possibly really actually need possibly one more if we want to go and push on. We just go and see what we can do, I suppose. But yeah, thank you again for joining. I hope you enjoyed the first part. No, thank you. Or am I, can I afford that? Yes, I can, but I'm not going to. Sorry. No deal. Hmm, they want to give me wood for an old aggression pack. I'm fine with it. I just hope that the enemy... Oh, look at that. I saw the enemy. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to actually pull out of this settlement. I'm just going to go to help here and hopefully a minute Maya Mana is going to be... Uh, um, it's going to be attacked and then we can take it over. What will be the uh, hope for me. Uh, hopefully we can also send Helen over towards that outer province, but I do think that we can now. Yeah, but she's not getting get gold. Uh, Eros, let's do that. Let's send her over towards there to do a grand feast. And then she will be here and that should also help with Paris's happiness. And um, what we're also going to do is possibly recruit a new unit. Uh, and I would like to get on. I'm pretty sure that we can, oh, yeah, we can actually get fighters. What is this? Uh, Ends to garrison. After fights a better known territory. Hmm. That's not a good one. That's a really annoying one. Ravager. Ends are turned garrisoned. Okay, actually that's not too bad. Let's get him. Otrus. Yeah, we need to get Paris' Diva, so uh, his uh, units are going to be less expensive, so we can actually avoid this. Oh, look at that. We can actually get a chariot. Well, I can get a couple just to get that over towards Paris, because I would love to get some Paris, uh, some uh, chariots. Although they're actually kind of expensive to turn, but... Getting some over to Paris wouldn't be too bad, just to have like a little bit more uh, knocking power. This is unfortunate that we can't really push out along as long as he is up there. I would like to go after them though, but... Uh, then I'm curious that they will possibly die off. Or, what we could do, um, is go to those allies. Go to these ones, the Aeolians. They have like, he, like that's his last settlement, and he's also the war with them. So actually, killing them off would be smart for us. So we're going to wait, and we'll wait for him to come, and then hopefully we can attack that settlement in like two turns or something. That would be good. Because uh, get taking them out will give us like a uh, daddy daddy points. <laughs> um, so yeah, scan them in the need. Hopefully the actor doesn't take out those ones. Um, that might be happening because he has now, yeah, two full stacks and like one ten ten army stack. Yeah. Oh, I had. To. Oh, yeah, of course, because we are going down though. Fair bit fair. Okay, that's actually good. That's actually kind of good. Right, let's push him over here and hopefully they take that one out. Um, we just have to go and see. We have to get the reinforcements anyway, so there's not much that we can do until that is uh, building up. But we're still building up our overall uh, settlements. What we just need to do as well is go to over here and do an uh, hectome to Apollo. We get uh, more daddy points. We're now up. But yeah, it would be great if we can get this one as well. Um, but uh, let's build up something with more stone. 
Uh, high influence. This one is the better one, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, let's go for this one. Because this one we have over here. Although this one is not able to get uh, the, uh, the better Divine. version. Therefore, we need the, this settlement. Uh, let's go to diplomacy. Anybody who wants to do some, some, some quick, uh, some quick deals. No, that's the royal degree one. That's the foot. That's the gold. That's actually what we need. Uh, let's do the quick deals. Any? Yeah, sure. I hope this will be. A uh, let's do. Uh, can you get me some some going? Fifth uh, hundred. Because I want to get. I want to get some some something to that to that. Uh, because I think that will help us out. And wood as well, I guess. 400? Really? You would think that he would be more inclined to give wood away. 90. Sure. Good. Alright, let's go to Priam. Uh, because we don't want to get too much coin, because if we have like 300 more than Hector, he is uh, going to accuse us of greed. And then we are going to lose like 10 daddy points. Words be uh, we'll get that one afterwards. Uh, let's just give him like 100. I don't... Oh, no, no, no. I want to give you 100. I don't want anything in return. I just want the dead points. There's plus 10 or something, so... Uh, but we should be able to give uh, like a hundred back. Oh, look at that! Actually, we're going to do it this way. Like two hundred and fifty. No, hundred and fifty. Yes, thank you. Good. Uh, I think we're actually not done yet because I think we can get more. Let's get a thousand five hundred food. Thank you, Priam. And let's go back to him and give him a hundred back. No, no, I want to give you a hundred coin. My dad, I want to give you some nice points. We are there you go. And that should give us a lot of that points. Yeah, proven your generosity. That gave us a little bit. Support your pal. Apollo's favor is kind of important. I thought that we would have gotten more, but nope. Oh yeah, this every 50 is uh, like... Uh, every 50 coin you get uh, like a little plus. I thought it was every 10, but nope. Oh well, my mistake there. Uh, right now I just have to wait. Uh, hopefully tech, yeah, Hector is going to take him out. Crap. No, that's going to take... Oh, he didn't take him out. That's actually good for us, I suppose. But we have to go and push up this time. Because these ones are kind of good, some good territory. And we also have like an epic mission to go to the, t the table of Hepalopalaka or whatever it is called. That ain't happening, mate. That ain't happening. Peace, really. Uh, where are those? I have no idea where those are. You're not even war with me, my brother, and I don't know where you are. Where are you? Oh, you're down here somewhere? Yeah, I'm fine with that. I don't even need to fight you at all. Get me some boots in exchange. I'm happy with that. Uh, thank God for the quick turn ends, isn't it? Yay! Creatures of Legends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he defeated. It would be nice to see what he like has done to get those points. But I'm guessing it's not all. Oh, hello! Oh my God, he's uh, going after our territory. Okay, that's not good. Uh, at least we can send him over. This means we have a chance to take this, but that's not good for us, because he's going to take some territory from us. Alright, let's each send him over there to get, um... To get it. We have to get um, Helen out of there as soon as possible, just because it's just on the coast, and I don't like uh, sitting on the coast. Because just all of a sudden, out of the fog of war, there can be somebody arriving, so... Um, he would be able to take Cologne, I think. Uh, just unfortunate that we're just putting something up. Yeah, he would definitely be able to take a load. We'll to refuse. Uh, we could like push up with uh, stand no march and at least yet. have him. Oh no, that's actually the thing that he hates, so that ain't happening. Um, I hope he is in range of a settlement. Otherwise, he might be screwed. We we'll just have to see how that, how that goes. Uh, at least we can take this. Uh, possibly he would have been already uh, on the march like a turn ago, I suppose. But we'll take it out. We'll have to see what happens. 
Oh, please, Hector. Please attack him. Please attack him. Oh, that would be good if you attack him. Okay, we just actually what we're going to do is we attack him on the sea if he... Uh... What the hell do you think? That... Argos, you, you, you. What is this for kind of deal? Like, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Like, come on, man, Argos. Ah, uh, he retreated backwards. I just hope he isn't in his settlement. But it would be annoying. Um, he possibly... It would be annoying if he should... But he should then be... In a better... In a worse position. Nice. Jeshiro. Anip... Uh... Pelemaios. Altar of Poseidon. Uh-huh. Ah, great. Oh, okay, so those ones are the ones... Is that him? Pelios or whatever. Or is that the guy that we're just supposed to fight over here or something? I don't know. But we're just going to out resolve this. Because there's no need really in fighting this. Not really. So good. Occupy it. Yeah. Thank you. Mythical beast found. Daring. Alright, so where is that other guy? Is the faction destroyed? Yes, good, it gives us more dead points. Pretty sure, we almost did to his level, because I would not mind getting a good uh, leader. Uh, let's go over here, because then we also can get the uh, mythical unit thing done. Although, I guess we could also just destroy this one and get one of those. This way. Alright, I want to get Helen out as soon as possible. I know, I already said that, but still. I wouldn't mind that. Eru, uh, Haximokios. Like that's on our sp that's on our like on our flank. So let's actually build this one up. I don't actually mind building this one up as well. And uh, let's get more pre -aim. It Just that gives us a lot of food points, so that's actually not too bad. Um, I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for uh, archer, archer bonuses. I think that would be a good one for now. Alright then, so we lost one of those, we're recruiting and we stand, we'll get the uh, mission done. I think though, is that we're going to go have to go and fight these dudes. Because they basically are on our objective route and they actually have taken out some good territory. And I think they also have some good territory over here, so we are definitely in a good starking area to take them out. And I think we don't have that good of a relationship with them. They are fighting the Menatine. Oh, look at that, that's actually kind of good. I expect a profitable meeting. Uh, I will join the war against these dudes. Ah, these ones. And you would give us a lot of wood. A thousand wood for the deal? No. Five hundred is a reasonable amount, I guess. And the food as well. Could have a little bit of food exchange for like a couple of turns. Two hundred. No, no, no. 1800 for that, but we'll do that next turn because I right now I'm not yet ready to attack him. Would be foolish to do that already. But yeah, I think that's the better option for now. Going after them and then uh, next turn we'll go for, uh, I don't know, yeah, go after them I suppose. But it would be nice to have some better infantry, from some better line infantry because what I noticed in the previous episode was is that our line broke like uh, butter. It, uh, it wasn't... Anything but strong. Oh god damn, you already made peace with the Hector, did you? Uh, I guess for the moment, because we're going to fight them, it wouldn't be bad. And it's getting that bronze, actually, is not too bad either. Let's uh, counter offer. Oh, look at that, but actually, I should have taken a look on the previous one we did. Uh, with another faction, I think we could possibly gotten more out of them, considering we're now still having a lot of... Uh, over this. But uh, I wouldn't mind getting some more wood. What a bit of wood with these people. There's not like there's that much, right? At least I don't think so. Uh, let's add to offer. And then also a little bit of extra coin per turn. Five turns, we get five coin and a little bit of bronze as well. Here we go. I did. Oh, I did. There was somebody else. Oh, well. Oops. I clicked a bit too fast. 
But yeah, that's not too bad. Going after them first, and then we'll push into that land, I suppose. Thank you. An epic agent, was it? Oh yeah, there's... Um, oh! A seer. I'm not sure what it really does, but what to see. Uh, move your seer to this. I know, but I rather wouldn't. Could do it as it goes, but all right. Have to see what that, that does. But uh, uh, let's send them both actually over here. I mean, who is Menelaus? Menelaus? Is that in? Mendon. Damn it. Uh, who the hell is Menelaus? Who is that? Yeah, come on, man. Uh, that is. Not really something you say, okay, that's a normal mission that you can easily do or something like that. No, not at all. Alright, let's go. Let's go after them and... Um, uh, let's go to diplomacy. Uh, uh, the f only thing that is nasty about it is that we don't have Hector to join us. Because when we defeat them, we don't get the bonus of uh, of that uh, support in the common... Uh, the, uh, uh, destroy the common enemy or something, so... The Minor Danians, there you go, I will, I will join the war against, uh... Ah, god damn it, are you kidding me? They freaking ended, they made peace? Ah, of course they did. Of course they did, alright, perfect. Alright, that's just a nasty move, yep. The bastard. Alright, in circle. Paris, you might maybe better. Ba ba Paris, you might be better to just be able to get up there because if you can't, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, he can't. Of course. Um, ah, you gotta be kidding, Paris. Oh. Uh huh. Okay, I will insert. I will, I will then load up the game because yeah. All right, I didn't know that. I'll be back in a second. Okay then, it seems like... Uh, Alright, well we're back here. Let's go and get the uh, water cleared right now then, I suppose. Because then there's also a chance that uh, somebody else will do some stuff. Uh, they might do some other stuff. And there's still war with them, so... Talking to Troy, I guess there's also an advantage. And it would be kind of annoying. Yeah, Kempney. Uh, let's get me some uh, of that nice wood of yours. Alright, let's hone some wood. Actually, ah, that's something we could actually trade regions. Ah, damn it, I had hoped that I could switch the regions around. Now I could get the big capital for. Um... Uh, let's go for uh, multiple bargains, 500, 200, 100, okay, yeah, and also single barter or some good food of a thousand or something, 950, 900, alright, there we go, well, let's go and get that one, let's, get the, let's go and get the war going. And uh, let's enter the turn again to see what happens. What we also could do is go towards these ones now and make an all our own barter with the Terrians. I can't see myself reaching oh, an agreement gosh. with someone like you. Ah well, that is kind of good. Multiple bargain agreement. Ten turns, and you will give me a load of food. Look at that, five hundred. 500 a turn? Jeez, man. 20. 30. But that's kinda good that we can get so much freaking food out of them. Let's go for like uh, 300, 400. Let's go for 400 and also go for like 100 of this. Nah, 50. 50? Would that work? Nope. A little bit less, I guess. Ah, 40. 40 and 400 turn for a peace treaty. I take it every day. Work one. 
Good, good, good. That's actually kind of good. Nice. All right, next time we'll go after then, and hopefully we don't get attacked this turn. All right, let's send her in again. Yeah, sorry. No one, I wouldn't do that, but I uh, thought I just would be able to go and get up there, but nope, doesn't seem like it. And it seems like Hector is going to go move towards the uh, Aegeans. Uh oh. Well, that's also interesting, of course. And there we have Menelaus. They want military access? Sure. It's not like going to use it at night uh, where I am right now, so we'll have to see how that will go. But Hector had like a full stack army right now. It's kind of uh, great. We got still good. Oh, but if not something else, somebody else. Huh. Alright, that's not too bad. Yeah, it's surprising that like um, Paris Prince can get there. Paris. I will wait because I am not going to get up there then. We'll wait for a turn. Uh, let's uh, actually go with him to that army of Paris and switch some of these spears around for the archer chariots. But yeah, we're getting some nice uh, go, uh, food from by diplomacy right now. Hey, did we make like, like a deal for 500? No, it was 400, wasn't it? Yeah, and a little bit uh, by diplomacy from that one. Alright, let's uh, do that. Good, good. I'm just waiting to get this upgrade actually. We're almost there, I think next turn we have enough to upgrade this, but we don't have enough uh, gold or stone. Stone we'll have like in the next turn, so that's good. And then we possibly will be able to get some from our dead, I guess. I am delighted my little brother wants to talk. No, 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 I don't want to do that. I'm gladdened that Troy wishes to speak. 150 oh no 50 thank you dad all right good so for next turn we have like an upgrade for the main settlement ready right perfect yeah i hope we still get a battle i guess we might might not just to see how that goes hopefully at some point we can confederate with these guys to get that settlement on the going um, we just need to like, get some more main settlement. We don't really have expanded just yet. Seems to be a bit more slow expands in this one than with Agamemnon. Really? Okay. Enter the war on the side of the ally. Oh, look at that. They uh, attacked uh, those settlements. Although that's actually not a bad one to take over. Fortunately, we're just not really able to go after that one. Unfortunately enough, Maelstrom. Okay, Poseidon's Frenzy Stallion. Granite, faction at strong construction cost. It's actually not too bad. Uh, favor from God's Rules, no settlement, grants, auxiliaries. Uh, actually. Actually, that one is not too bad. Let's request the granite. But cool. we're just going to upgrade this one just out of now, so that's not too bad using it. Uh, but everybody's over here, and uh, because of that, what we are going to do, we're just going to go over here. I will just move on, and uh, we'll see what they will do. And uh, are they now still at war with these guys? No. If I joined your war and you basically screwed me over there and just made peace with him. Alright, interesting. I hope oh, I can take them there this uh, this turn. I'll That's wait. definitely the That's hope. The thing, thing is, I don't really mind if they attack at all. So, we'll have to see what they will do now. Yeah, there's a lot of moving around. We have not really like, done a battle, but uh, yeah. Uh, we have to go move to uh, uh, Helen around actually. It's kind of uh, important because she's now in a position that is kind of heavily chance to be attacked. So 
Yeah, what the hell, mate? That is not something that's going to happen. I basically have no, no thing with you, though. Alright, so, okay, so you see now over there. That should be the setup that they just took over, so there should not be a big of a garrison. Hopefully. Hopefully, that is. And uh, I think we have a good chance of uh, going for that. Uh, actually, get the gold. Yeah, let's get the gold. Ah, he's gloomy. That might also be one of the reasons. This. If I'm honest. Uh, 52, 42, 42, 52. And then we also have the other army Destroy coming in, foot. so we have like a little bit of a attack. I think we should be fine. In theory. We also have some good uh, uh, auxiliaries. Uh, I think we're good. Like, they, uh, that is actually, just a good way, because this uh, settlement has been damaged, should have like a little bit less garrison, so. Alright, let's go for it. Let's go and attack him, and I will see you in the battle. Okay, then here we are. We're actually in an advantage already. So and and this the settlement we're going to attack. No, they actually. Oh, like look at that. They actually sell it out. Oh, okay, that's actually good for us. Uh, so they have like a little bit of a little bit of a less defensive position, and of course we also have our chariots, who are going to be kind of great in this uh, situation. Uh. Alright, and let's go so here and let's get Paris to this site and uh, uh group it and uh, let's go for it. The gods smile, Rian. Oh god, oh sorry for that little bit of a weird one. Melee modes for the archer chariots. All right, let's send uh, those two up. As well, all right. Alright, air chariots. Oh, they have skirmish oh, mode on. Uh, oh, oh god. Uh, let's go send them over there. The foe has sighted your hidden units. Oh, really, has he now? Paris, actually pull back a little, uh, if you can. Yes, very good. Okay, uh, you go after them. Perfect! Very good. I think we're going to win. I think so, though. Not sure. But... I do think uh, that is really nice of them that they basically gave us a uh, very nice open battleground. And they're actually outflanking us, but I still think is uh, very, very good. I never said. But the normal AI I never would have done, so that uh, is definitely true. Uh, the chariots are being a bit. Uh, Your warriors are losing heart. Oh god. Go and attack, and over here as well. And let's go. Victory is close enough to taste. Well, that might be true, but we have not yet won. 
But very nice of them that they basically gave us this because it would have been a very more difficult for using a chariot because they basically routed an entire flank, so that's kind of good. And having um, uh, having them like there attacking that flank is kind of great. Oh. Is he uh, winning or what? I actually don't know. I think we won! Yes, good! Alright, it was a really quick one. Jeez, the battle was quick. Uh, and how did the chariots do? Out of curiosity, like, let's go to take a look at the kills. Because, oh god, like, if you want to see something of the battle yourself, you just have to go and pause the game. What I might do for the next episode, do some, like, uh, just play the battles in beforehand and then um, do them, like, in a cinematic, uh, cinematic way. Uh, because if you, I don't really can actually show you anything uh, during this battle because you just know I just had to micro too much before I could even see anything. So yeah. But overall, not too bad using these chariots of war. I must say, the horses, uh, they, they don't look too good. <laughs> but, alright, it doesn't matter. It was a good battle, and the chariots played a key role. So, overall, not bad. They got a lot of kills, actually, the most of the enemies. Although, over here, we got some good archers. Again, the archers also carrying a good day. Some of these ones doing well as well. So, overall, not bad. Let's go to the campaign map. Well, there we go. We won. Nice. And uh, let's occupy the settlement. That was a really uh, good battle for us. Fame and skill. Bold. Oh, paid it pedals. Oh, good. Prince. Get some buffs for our chariots. Um, Gra e ammunition, ammunition, ammo, and missile vision in our heroes. All units. Yeah, I don't think fatigue is too much of a problem. Let's go for that one first. Alright, good. Now we have to go push up there and we'll take out these ones over here because that's also their territory. We're going to true now as well. Strong to try and get Hector into we that war. Uh, join a war role. again. Oh! No? Cayman. Uh, make it work. No. Come on, Hector. Yeah, come on. Single barter? No, not really. Hmm. Okay, now well, we have to actually be careful because we're getting close to getting uh, enough of uh, hectares. Oof, we're so close, we're so so even with our brother. Uh, let's go get more uh, points for uh, Apollo again. They gave us more of that point and pretty sure. Yeah, here we go. We're almost there. But like, I think we need like a hundred or something. For duty. Oh, not quite, is the best. Instantly get some corruption cooking done, doesn't it? Yeah, that's kind of good for us. Nice. Uh, we also could convert this over though, although it costs a lot of money to do that, I'm pretty sure. How much does it cost to convert it over to um, Apollo? Uh, two, uh, 260. Yeah, doing that would really, I think, might have pushed us up towards uh, this level. Maybe, I'm not too sure. But getting an epic mission done would also help us in British, yeah? Fulfill your dissim accomplish an epic mission, yeah. Uh-huh, plus one per five for each province. So, if we would do that, if we would convert this over, we would get in total of five, uh, 15 points? No, 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 no. 45 points because that's like uh, every every five is plus one so yeah that's 10 oh no that's 30 sorry that would be 30 total for the gods yeah that wouldn't work although an altar beside could work too but I don't really want to do that so it ain't going to uh, we are going to upgrade the sheltered ship though get more food in because I wouldn't mind just giving him a little bit more men so he can uh, 
What do we have to do to get you up? And it's a weaker army. Oh, Victory well, that's not too bad. We can do that in the next turn, hopefully. Uh, divine focused weapon damage, armor piercing damage. Let's go for armor piercing damage. Fair. And let's end turn one more time. And then we're going to try and push up towards that other. Oh, God. Menelaus is coming uh, towards our territory, I'm guessing. So we have to be careful with that. What I'm going to do is we're going to send over uh, uh, Helen towards uh, not other province, towards uh, here, and we have taken it in the next turn, so we can get uh, Hector's thing up. So Hector has a total. Oh God, Menelaus is coming! All right, so we have to be careful with that because we actually have to remove Helen then from this province. Because there's a good chance they will attack her in the next turn, so going there right now and getting her over there with Paris would be good, as well as decreasing his upkeep cost, of course. Oh god, yeah. Yeah, that's why it would be nice if we had like that plus 10 for uh, Hector. But yeah. Most handsome. I love a challenge. Uh, let's send him after him, actually, so he can win the battle against the weaker army. Although, Dom seems to be working. All out attack. Oh. There in love and war. Ah well, that's how to resolve it. Nice, Lee done. Well done, Paris, and chap in the back. And please give us the blood mod because then would this animation look a whole lot better, actually. Uh, by a lot. Uh huh. Yeah, alright. Uh, raise, sack, or loot. No, just Take to occupy it. Nice. The best warrior won. Good. That did no push him up, though. So, great. Uh, this the gold? No. This one is the gold. Uh, growth rate actually is going down. But Helen, my love, can go towards... Uh, what's the gold? Porcelain. Paros Ilene. Paras Ilene. Yeah, let's send her there. Paras is also here, so that's fine. Prince of Troy. Alright. Um Again though, we have to be careful because it is they are coming. <laughs> the Trojans are coming or the Achaeans uh, the Achaeans, I suppose the Achaeans are coming Blessed for us. By Just to go and push out and hopefully win the war to come. But yeah, getting a main settlement wouldn't be bad either, but that's the thing though. I think though at some point we're going to have to go and try and take this. And uh, we also have to go and send Paris over there to get his epic mission done actually. So let's do that after we have conquered all of this and hopefully push out some of those Aegean falls who are coming. Alright, let's enter him one more time and I think then we uh, end the episode because we're almost at 40 minutes. I hope so far you have enjoyed it. And uh, yeah. I enjoyed it, uh, this uh, this one as well. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I had had uh, hope that I wouldn't happen, but I don't think there is much point of going after them. So it is Messini, and that's not even Agamemnon's army. Uh oh. No oh, crap. No, no, we're going to lose that point now a lot. I'm pretty sure on that. Ooh. Mm -hmm, that's uh, why not? Let's do that actually. I possibly should take a look on that, but that's not good. Uh, we definitely have to go and push out now against these uh, Achaeans who are coming after us right now. Really, they want such a lot of gold from us, and we're not going to accept. No, that ain't happening, mate. Uh oh. Ah, uh, yeah, I thought that was going to happen. Ooh, sabot. What? Oh my God. Oh no. You asshole. I knew that was going to happen. I had the feeling something like that was going to happen. 
thing is though, I think we have to come push here because otherwise, with uh, Mandalay is coming as well, that I knew he was there. Uh, let's go and push up, I guess, towards here. Prince Paris, Helen's beloved. Hmm. No, you can recruit I live for a couple, like two. All right, and yeah, that's unfortunate, but that means that yeah, I, I, I sort of thought it was going to happen. Oh, we can get some melee chariots, but I don't think I want that. I want. Melee units. Yes, we can get some good melee units. That's not too bad. All right, then um, we're just going to have to push up. I suppose there's not much that we can change. Let's just try and get him out of there and hopefully attack the Messinians. Um, of Messini. Oh crap! All right, uh, here he comes. All right, just have to go and wait then. Because if uh, Menelaus is there... Oh! Really? Uh, that's on counter of her. Uh, yep, that's a load of food. Sure, I know. I don't mind having military alliance with him. That gives us more points overall. And I don't think we can actually now take that. Uh-oh. Well, that end turn thing I've had... Um, <laughs> Expansion at a cost, I suppose. Good to call this episode. Or the uh, Achaean invasion, or the Greek invasion, I suppose it's Achaean right now, still. Or Dardanian invasion. Ah, crap, he's going to make it before us, I think. The Seal of Troy, that ain't happening, mate. Grace and style. Alright, we have to be careful. Uh, I would hope that he would attack that one Not so we can take shot. that out. Uh, it wouldn't be too bad. Uh, getting this bronze up would be great, so let's go and get that. I'm um, just going to have to wait. Aphrodite's pawn. Respect the gods. Alright, so we're using that one over here. Yeah, there's not much else that we can do, but just to wait, to see what the... Uh, but Menelaus will do. The thing is though, I can't actually go outside of my settlement because then we will be getting uh, a separate if I don't want. So let's uh, see what uh, Menelaus does. And uh, I will see you all in the next episode. Thank you for watching. It was part 2 of the Paris campaign. Next time we're going to try and see if we can push out to the Dandini or, or Achaean invaders. Again, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. i see you all in the next one. That was Heroes of the Greeks and bye bye.